Bethany Maddox Sands here and I am doing the Tennis Life. You're following me around in one of my favorite tournaments here in Rome, just made it. I'll be honest, I'm a pretty veteran traveler and the only airport I've ever made the mistake of going out the wrong exit is Rome, but got all the bags right now. Uh, some of the tournaments have been known to send some small cars and I'll be honest, I don't travel that light. So I have to put in the side notes that I have 35 bags and literally Beyonce is following me. So we're gonna try and fit all of these in, but stay tuned, Rome, got some red clay, some red wine, <sighs> nothing better than that. So just checking into my hotel room right now and a little fun fact about me is I travel with a mattress topper. I travel with a bed. It's the same one that I use at home. Um, so when I'm traveling on the road, uh, I'm super comfortable. It's an all natural organic latex mattress. So it's not light, it's like 20 pounds. It takes up one bag. I travel with three bags. This takes up one along with my foam purple pillow that I travel everywhere with. Silk pillowcase, of course, for the skin and the hair. And if you aren't traveling with cubes yet, you are missing out. And I'm one of those players that likes to unpack, feel like I can make myself at home in my hotel room. So that is what I am doing now. And for my fancy clothes, I actually do use the hanging cases uh, that they come in. So you never know when you dress up, have a player party. I also have a separate travel closet versus home closet. It's clothing that I wear at home and then clothing that I only wear on the road. Obviously the stuff on the road is gonna be a little bit more matchable, some black, some whites, some mixing and matching, and all of my funkier stuff, um, my one-off stuff is at home. So I have a rule, like when I'm home, I can't wear any of my travel stuff. And then obviously I don't travel with all that or I really would have even more bags than I have right now. Early AM practice, we almost forgot the bags. It's okay. Not enough. All right, we got the rackets <laughs> now. Just got to the courts, transportation. Let's go. Hitting with my Dubs partner this week, Marie. Which, funny enough, her nickname is Boozy. Booskova. But it's just check. I got, we got to FaceTime Lucy, I feel like. Team Boozy has to FaceTime with Boozy. <laughs> Yet another tunnel. We went through this one the other day. It's the Hall of Champions. And then for 27 years, it was Rafa and Novak. Monica, my uh, childhood hero. William Bill. All right. All right, Marie, you are wearing some light clothes <laughs> for the red clay. We're gonna check post practice to see if they look as fresh. I don't think so, I'm sweaty probably. That's okay. Make me run, please. I, oh, <laughs> yes ma'am, okay. <laughs> All right, we are in Rome right now, one of our favorite restaurants of all time. This is my good friend, Maurizio. Maurizio, we're at Taverna Trelusa, and you have to tell everyone how long your family has been here and ha owned this restaurant. In July, we'll do uh, 112 here, same family. And some of the best pasta, food, and you always have a lot of tennis players coming here. How many years have, you, have they been coming? Maybe 20 years. 20 Maybe years? 18, 20 years. So yes. you've seen a few, I've been at a, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them. So, yes. yes. All right, so we're gonna have some red wine, some amazing food and pasta. Uh, we'll show you more videos of those. Thank you. Shelby has joined the crew. We have dipped into some red wine here. It's unreal. It's 
zucchini flower. This is their two-time award winner, ravioli. <laughs> Carbonara with fresh black truffles. Okay, low key, I ate so much pasta tonight. I am lime biking it back to my hotel tonight. Let's go. <laughs>